there. So today I'm gonna to tell you a really simple, easy way for you to transport your heavy drawing tablet. Oftentimes my students are bringing their draw drawing tablet into my studio and sometimes it's little tiny kids and this drawing pad will kind of dwarf them. So one of the moms of my students came up with this really easy way for her daughter to transport her drawing tablet into my studio. And I've modified it a bit to make it even better for you. And this is just a quick, simple, cheap, easy tip for you. So if you're transporting your drawing tablet to a drawing studio or to a class, this is an easy way to do it. You can also get those portfolio cases, but some of them are really expensive, and then the paper ones I find, those tear really easily, so those usually break down pretty quickly. The first thing is that if you ever have loose papers in your drawing tablet that tend to shake out, what you're gonna wanna get is this silicone band that I just was able to get on Amazon. <clears throat> it's called the graffiti band, and it's made out of silicone. It's like rubber, it's gonna stretch, and you can put it around your drawing tablet to hold all those loose papers in. I got the size 12 inch band and this tablet is 11 and three quarters of an inch. So you can see it's tight. It keeps any loose papers from shaking out. You could get a larger one for the 14 inch side in order to get make sure that things aren't gonna sneak out the sides when you're carrying it. And then let's take a look down here. I've got two different straps that I could clip on. This one would work, it's stable enough. You can see I'm sliding things around in the studio, but you can see that this is a really tiny clip that's only gonna be able to clip onto one set of my spiral binding. And I actually want something that's gonna be a little bit stronger. So instead, I'm gonna use a thicker clip. This one I can open wide, and I can clip onto two of the spiral bindings. The problem with the spiral bindings is that they're pretty weak metal. They're not super strong. And you can see that on the back side, they're actually loose. So if I were to pull these, they would come apart. I don't want that to happen. And if my tablet is heavy enough, then this metal could pull because the weight of the paper. So by clipping onto two of my spiral bindings, it's a little bit more effective. And that way I don't have to worry about those bending quite as easily. So then you can see I have almost like a purse. I can put it on my shoulder. I can carry it around. It's really easy to transport. I can carry my other supplies. And it's a really easy way to get back and forth into class. So hope that helps you out. And I'll see you guys soon. Thank you all so much for watching. More videos are coming soon, so if you wish to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and do that. And also you can check out my website, lzmstudio.com.